wings report in. Red leader standing by. If you was Zen, so just get me here, and today we are back on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As you can see by the dead bodies, I should speak to Rolo about our plan. As you can see by the dead bodies, entering the city did not go as well as it ever goes, because apparently the king and all of them have still never said, "Hey, this guy's my friend. Don't attack him." <sighs> but whatever. He wants to keep complicating everything? Fine. I don't know, where the heck is Rolo? Maybe up here somewhere? What the heck? Well, they freaking came out of nowhere. Wait, I think I saw some. Okay, where the heck? Really? Oh, Rollo, why can't you just... Hello, Rollo. How are your people, Rollo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Let's attempt to do this stealthily, although... I'm tempted. Because I know this is not going to go stealthily. But for, but for the sake of amusement. Let's try it. Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Okay. I seriously am going to attempt to be stealthy at this. Maybe if there's like some drunks or something, I can use them. But... Let's just see how well my freaking cloak does, because, you know, it's done so well at hiding my face the other times. Oh, we got a guard right there. <sighs> okay, what if I go this way? Okay, she's right there, so maybe if I go right here and then climb up, maybe I can get her? My friend did this mission and he said, all he said was, yeah, good luck. Because apparently this mission is a bitch and a half. Sure. Why not? <sighs> whenever I was on the ledge right in front of him, he never saw me. But whenever I drop down from said ledge and get to a point where he can't see me at all, he sees me! Uh, 
Yeah, you keep saying that, but do me a favor. Just stand in my poison. You. I am ready when the time comes. The time is now. We run. This is what we do. Here you go. You can have that back. Ooh. I've disarmed him. Hmm. I don't see what my friend was complaining about. Like. Odin's beard. You wouldn't fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! Unhand me, you filthy Dane! Fistan! My love! My love! We ride! <laughs> Guy's just randomly dancing. He's very happy about what's happening right now. Okay, let's see if I can find a road, because this is gonna take forever. Which, I never understood, like... This, I'm riding a freaking wolf. Pretty sure their whole lives, they're pretty much running on grass. Ride. Ride, my wolf! We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe Troll with curse, you? it's not in danger. Is that what you mean? Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at Oh, him. my brother! Die! Well, that's a lot of guys. And also, I don't know what you mean by a brother. Yep. Uh, at least I'm not leading the guards to where she's hiding. Wolf a swick. Well, she seems very eager to get off. Stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. Beerstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like. Away from these reveling Danes. Okay. A man, his dog, and the outdoors. What greater pleasure can there be than this? Your new wife? The one that you said that you love? I mean, shouldn't you kind of be spending time with her since you missed her? Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt. Fine. Come on. 
who's on your way to swear there. Now it says follow. Does that mean that I'm walking in front of you or behind you? What are we hunting now? Boar. A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebone. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, you and your, uh, little love triangle, you're the real boar. Sidestepping. Saw some more over here. Really? I'm still following him? Oh. Jeez, you are slow. Re really, I had to come back for you to take two steps and... Tell me to kill Boar. Oh boy. Feast table won't fill itself. You're right. You can start with the boar that I already got. Getcha. You know, you could split up and go kill your own. And snap. He'll make a delicious roast. Sorry, piggy. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. You're right, so go pull your own weight. Like, look, dude, I like hunting as much as the next guy. But for fuck's sake, you're kind of addicted. There we go. Oh boy. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. I don't see you doing anything to help. Like you got a bow. My bow arm aches. We did well, Abel. Your bow arm aches. We did well. I did everything. Your love triangle, the boar hunting. I've done everything. You've done nothing. Oh, I can't wait to be rid of you. I can't wait. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. 
Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. You do anything to that dog? And I will drown you. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvada is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Illeridge? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beerston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Abel, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a-tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. Are you jealous, Beerston? After casting her aside? Of course not. I could not be happier. I only wondered... for her sake. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight we feast and celebrate. Go away, northerner. Hey! God grant me strength! Oh, I thought you said they weren't gonna attack as long as I'm near you! Don't know about you, but your guards are freaking attacking! <laughs> You know, you could tell your guards, Hey, stop attacking this man. He is a friend. But, I highly doubt that's gonna happen, considering they are now shooting at me at your estate. Move. Move. Hurry back, Vistan. I will join you later for the feast. Home and hearth never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. But now, my Alvador is here. All is changed. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already, you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister! Have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> oh. 
My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. <sighs> the dude finally gets a life where he can basically live carefree. And... He hates it. Like, look, I'm not saying to forsake your old life and all that and lit and give up everything for what is honestly a lie, but still. Like, now you don't have to worry about pretty much anything. Like, you have it made now. Uh, but I think it's just because he, he's been with his sister his entire life and now this other guy is her main focus. So now he's not getting all the attention. But who knows? Esther is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. Rollo, get in your boat. You need to leave now. Rollo! Alfred's men have found you. What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us in this. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! <laughs> Lork! Hold it now! Oh, you fucked up. If she's unharmed, we may let some of you. Here come the bat. Protect Astrid. Prepare the ship. Cost you. You'll choose that. Yeah, that big guy's mine. I don't see you handling it. Is this handling it? Ah, the good snap of someone handling it. Oh, are you handling it? You didn't handle it. Okay, let's go see if these guys are handling it. Stop running. It is rude. Watch out! You missed, and now you'll pay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on with the... with the rope or whatever. Take long. 
I agree. It is time for you to die. You're very annoying. As for you... You drop that! Thanks, Eivor. You need to get out of here. Eivor! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and she not weather. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. They are safe. Dvirsten got his end of the bargain, and their straight is to Frank here. I should return to Randvi. Huh. So I probably actually could have divided the, uh... The missions into... Each episode. Oh well, what's done is done, I guess. So, I guess that means we have... Three more locations to ally with. Now, I don't know what's going to happen after that. Like, I don't know if we're going to... There's going to be more missions, or once we capture the last one, that's going to be the end of it. But, who knows? Maybe there will, maybe there won't. Guess the only way to find out is to tune into those episodes. So, with all that being said... Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave me a comment down below. Because comments are the only I can improve on these, and I love chat with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me on my Twitter at Antilles Gaming. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.